So I'm checking on this colony. I did a combination, combined two. Uh, actually, what I did is I combined mating nukes that I had up top that didn't have queens in them anymore. And I put a queen down below on these frames down here. And I put newspaper down. And so I'm checking uh, a week later to see how things went. I pulled the first frame, it was all honey. There's no newspaper that I can see down inside here, so they've done a quick job. I pulled this first frame and I did see a couple eggs up top. So, I'm hoping, I'm hopeful that the combining of the two colonies was successful. So, here, here I see wet brood. It's been a week, so if I see wet brood, it's very likely that it's from my from my queen and not the former queen. I see a lot of new uh, new little ones here, but. Uh, I think I'm gonna go so far as to look for the queen as well, but you can see a lot of new little hatchlings in there. How do you tell the new nurse bees? And I, I got, can't tell you for sure. Right up here is a new one. They look really ashy almost, like really light colored and ashy and they're tiny. So they're not quite, you know, at full size yet. That's how you tell nurse bees and um, Anyway, I do see what looks to be like some wet brood on this one, where the emerging brood is happening. The, it looks like the bees are uh, looks like the bees are um, I lost my words there. Where the emerging brood is happening, it looks like the uh, queen has laid it up. So that's a good sign, and that would mean that probably within one day they had uh, already broken through and meld together as one colony. So yeah. yeah, so here's more wet brood, and it's pretty dark in here. I'm under the shade, shade trees here, but uh, yeah, this is a nice frame here. A lot of young brood in this frame. A lot. Yeah, and eggs. Yeah, she's definitely in here laying it up really nicely. That's awesome. This is a brand new queen. She's probably been mated for probably a month now or so. So here's an outer frame, which looks like they're filling with nectar. There is nectar coming in right now. Uh, goldenrod and is blooming, and aster should be blooming very soon. So I haven't seen my queen yet, though. We'll go down into the bottom box and look for her, but this is a very, very good sign. So what I had put up in here was... Uh, I think three frames of a three frame mating nuke and two frames of open uh, just drawing comb. That one, that last one I just showed you was probably one of them. And then this frame with drawn combs, probably the other. So the emerging and open brood is a really good sign. Since I think I did this uh, about a week ago, let me check and see if I took notes. If I was good, I would take notes, and I didn't. So, let's go down and take a peek at the bottom box here. And uh, see what we can come up with. Here, like that. Yeah, I want to make sure.
sure that you have a good camera angle where you're at right there. Looks like you do. Get rid of our newspaper here. So basically this is what I've been doing at the end of the season with my mating nukes. I've just been combining them. I'm kind of done selling queens and I'm pretty sure that I have most of the queens that I need for the year. So uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just uh, going through and as the queens are removed, I'm just uh, taking them out. I'm sorry, taking all the bees out on the frames they're in and making uh, nukes to overwinter in. So in this case, uh, I'll just overwinter in five over five here. And that's a perfectly acceptable configuration for overwintering here in Michigan. I'm in southern Michigan, but even in northern Michigan, if you've got enough feet on them, you can get away with them like that. So very carefully and very gently lifting this frame out. Very nice frame of brood there. And uh, looks like they're stuffing pollen when the when the brood emerges, which is great. There's tons of pollen right now. And over on this side, I'm seeing eggs. And I don't think my queen here is marked, so I do want to mark her. But look, there's more very young bees right here. This one right here is just a young bee, probably emerged in the last day or two. Oh, I don't see my queen. I'm looking very carefully here. see here on that side either one of the places you want to watch for your queens on these frames is right down here at the bottom a lot of times they'll walk right along there and you'll miss them so just be wary of that Being that we're now almost into September, I have noticed that the bees are a little less kind and gentle these days. So. so here's this. Still see some drones in here. This is a foundationless frame. I see a few eggs. There's some drone brood in here on this one. So over here you have uh, worker brood and up here and then you have some drone brood over here. And it looks like they're putting nectar in that, which is what we want really don't really need any more drone brood right now. The bees know that. So I'm looking for the queen here in the crevices. Foundationless frames are good frames for the queen to hide in. So you gotta watch out for that. 